How does disrupting a camera disrupt a computer? Sure, why not? Alright, camera. Well, that's broken now. Doing a really good job of helping out these people who, who think that we're here to help. Tricorder scans are pick up heavy concentration of electromagnetic and gamma radiation southeast of the location. According to the computer, the colony buildings are residential dwellings. I find it unlikely the amount of radiation detected would be unhealthy for most species. Pretty sure radiation is unhealthy for almost every species. I mean, if you can find me a species that thrives in high radiation environments, let me know. Because we, we could learn things from them. Maybe make ourselves resistant. And that registers as a door. Open sesame. Ow, stop squishing me. No, no, ow. Mm. Alright, well, I mean, I should be dead right now, but I'm not, so that's good. Also, that's a lot of bombs. And what is this? Iconian weapons? Well, you definitely don't need this. This might be just what we need to access the Iconian Gateway Network. Until we are able to stop the Iconians and their heralds from appearing wherever they want, there is no place in this galaxy that will be safe from them. Taking your word for it? I don't know. But let's check that computer manifest and see just how many of these big bombs they've got. Also, if we can beam some of them up to our ship, we already have big torpedoes. I want these big missiles, too. Shipping manifest, the colony surprise it. Supplying weapons to the Herogen? You dick waffles. They're receiving weapons from other colonies scattered across the neutral zone across the entire sector. Preset targeting information. Some of these weapons could be used against Republic-friendly target. Well, I'm sure they can be. It's the Herogen. Tricord just registered an odd low-band subspace signal. Uh, access to the computer might have triggered something. Lortrix lied to us. And after everything I tried to do for him... We have them trapped in the warehouse. Excellent. Activate the transport inhibitors to stop them from being out. Very well. Do you have any further orders? Just stay out of our way while we subdue the prey. That's a lot of Herogen. I'm having second thoughts about this. Alright, weapons hot. Oh, you're here already. I'm gonna put these mines here, I hope you don't mind. Get it? Mind? Okay, just shoot them. Hey, they found the mines. That worked well. There's more of them ahead, though. Oh, they have mines, too. Well, that's unpleasant. What's this ability down here? Equipment Diagnostics. Give me a damage re uh, resistance. Sure, let's do that. That's new. Hi, guys! I'm gonna put some mines out just in case. Don't want them getting too close after all. They preset traps. That's dirty. Wait, am I supposed to be looking for something? Oh, it's those consoles I need to be using. Okay, disable a magnetic field. Oh, that console's locked. We're doing this. Alright, fine. 
Take them all out. We got this. What's this ability? Reroot power to shields? Eh, most of our shields are doing pretty good, but sure. Oh, I don't like your traps. Stop setting snares. Let me guess, this one's locked too? Can I use it? No, but I can blow it up. What about that one? Can I blow that one up too? Yes, I can. Okay. No more computer, no more problem. Let's get up there. Come on, we got him. Take out Sparky there. Oh, I really hate your traps. Shoot that thing from here. So you did have weapons. Some other way. There is another way. Sell your weapons to me. Come on, don't fight me. Why? We didn't have to fight like this, okay? This is your choice. It's not my choice. We could have been friends. You guys had bombs. We needed bombs. We could have had a very ludicrous, ludicrous, no, lucrative, I know words. We could have had a lucrative business model. You're good, very good. But do you think this will change anything? I spit on you and the Republic, traitors to your own people. Die like this. Are you tall, Shiar? Because, like, unless you're tall, Shiar, why the hell would you be fighting me? You terrorists. You care nothing for the common people. The tall Shiar, they protect us, make us stronger. You either choose a side or you die. Surrounded by the dogs of war, supported, supported by no one. Even in death. I stand by my choice. Leave. Leave me to die. As you wish. I'm sure not, not going to stop you. Situation is developing. We're tracking multiple enemy ships on approach at high warp and estimate they'll be here shortly. Okay. Beam us up and charge the big torpedoes. We're taking on the Herogen. Okay, incoming fleet will be here any moment. Reinforcements will be here shortly, but not before we're under attack. Deactivate a turret nearby. We could load it and use it to help hold off reinforcements. I like that idea. Where's the turret? There's hydrogen gas. Oh, it's over there. All right, load turret. And here they come. All right, cloak us. We'll wait till they're all in view. All right, here we go. They're all targeting the missile battery. We'll take out their ships. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, the Klingon showed up. 
the IKS Hrothstar. I like it. Can we fire the torpedo or the, the missile launchers again? No, I guess not. All right, charge everything, let them have it. Let's show the Klingons how we do. We're gonna plow right through the middle of them. Put all the shields to the front. Come on, more shields to the front. All right, bring us around. Oh wait, that thing ain't out of missiles. Oh yeah, eat it. Eat the missiles. The heroes are gonna have a bad time. All right, we're tracking one more wave of them. Where are they at? There they are. Give it to them. All right, all shields forward. Come on, as much forward as you can get. It's not working. All right, we're gonna go after that frigate first, actually. We're gonna use the quantum absorption. The frigate's gone, now it's just that battleship. And the battleship is gone. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. The glory of battle. I am lucky to be assigned to you. You know the joy of a good fight. Finish your business here. I will be patrolling for any stragglers. Thank you. I will take that offer and run with it. When you tripped our monitoring program, the Star Empire sent me to investigate. Our intel said you were part of the terrorist cell on Varanaut. But your actions here suggest otherwise. I'm here to make you an offer. Renounce your terrorist allies and come with me and fight for the glory of the Romulan Star Empire. I am authorized to grant you amnesty for your past crimes if you agree to serve the Empire again. If you agree, we would like you to remain within Deton's terrorist cell for the time being. He trusts you. The intel you could gather would be very valuable. The Empire rewards its loyal children well, but it also punishes its enemies. Consider your decision carefully. I mean, it's not a bad offer. However, I don't even sure. know you. You can't trust her. I know her too well for that. We grew up together. I was her friend. Her... But that's all over. It ended the day she joined the Tall Shi'ar. Ah, I see. She's part of the Tall Shi'ar. Well, I mean, the Tall Shi'ar does have a lot going for them. Hello again, Tovan. It's been too long since we were together. Yes, it is true that I am a member of the Tall Shi'ar. We are the last real protectors of the Romulan people. I have been monitoring this colony since before you arrived. Lortrix was a fool. This is what happens when you're not true to your allegiance. He was selling weapons to anyone who wanted to buy, with no thought to their allegiances. Just like Viranaut. Wait, we weren't selling anything, though. In the end, it cost him everything. Your blood, your heritage, that's who you are, where you belong. Anything else is only temporary. I'm here to remind you and your captain of this truth. Now join us before it's too late. I mean, I kind of want to, but you're not giving me an option here. You don't here. understand yet, but you will. The Romulan Republic is a terrorist organization. Datan and his followers are inciting Romulans and Remans to take up arms against the legitimate government of the Romulan Star Empire. They'll say the same thing about you, right? Think about it. 
The military and the Tal Shi'ar are the only means of guaranteeing security for those of us who survived the destruction. The military has the ships and the manpower. The Tal Shi'ar has the information and the intelligence network. This new homeworld Datan wants is an illusion. Why start over in contested space near the Federation and the Klingon Empire? Why would Datan choose a system in such a turbulent and dangerous area unless he knew he could guarantee they wouldn't risk attacking him? He certainly isn't going to do that with pretty words. You know, I asked myself the same question. Datan may have you fooled, but don't just take my word for it. See for yourself. Why do you think that Chaltok is shipping weapons? And they're not the only colony world involved in those kinds of operations. You think that this sort of business wasn't going on elsewhere? Perhaps even on Viranaut, right under your nose. And no one cut me in? Now see, that is a punishment worthy of death. Deton's only showing you what he wants you to see. I can show you the things that the Republic is trying to hide. Believe me, or don't. You don't have to trust me. Just trust the evidence. When you are ready to learn more, I'll be ready to show you. Okay, what about the Herogen, though? Are they working with you? Us? Whatever? It's true. The Tal Shiar has employed Herogen contractors from time to time for certain tasks. But the Herogen are the Empress's allies, not her slaves. They are free to do what they wish. Okay, now see, I don't like the Herogen. So, you lost me here. I mean, if we were going to keep this to be just Romulans, I was up for it. And Remans. Remans, too. But not the Herogen. Sorry, this conversation's over. I want to talk to Kev about Tal... Okay, so Tovin Kev is asking me if I want to talk to Tovin Kev about the Tal Shiar. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. As you may have guessed, we used to be quite close. There's a lot of history between us, but all that's really important is that we went separate ways. She thought that the Tal Shi'ar could ensure security for our people. And I didn't. It's just... bringing up a lot of old feelings. So, I mean, do you think that she could back up her claims? I don't believe Datan is a terrorist. I think he's an idealist who's trying to come to terms with the chaos. Datan would never knowingly sanction violence, especially against innocents. He doesn't even like us fighting the Tal Shi'ar, although he sees the need. But Datan isn't the only person making decisions in the Republic. Maybe there are some people who see the Republic as their chance to have a little revenge. I don't know. I think Charva is wrong about Datan and the Republic. But that doesn't mean it's outside the bounds of possibility that someone has taken things too far, or has a secret program that Tatan doesn't know about. If she knows something that we don't, we should try to find out what it is. I agree. There's so let's do that. There's a lot I have to say about Charva. That's really all I need right now. So, take us out of here and find out what we can learn. Findings are distressing. I'll pass this along to Republic Command. As for Charva, I think the best course of action right now is to wait for her next move. If she's really desperate to make her case, she'll contact you again. If she does, keep me informed. Nadell out. Will do. Time is Congratulations. Okay, well, we solved the mystery you there. Personally. But Datan was using your colony, among others, as part of his terrorist network. I have seen Tal Shi'ar documents saying that Viranaut was a prime site for weapons development. If so, that is probably why it was attacked. You're still grieving over the loss of your home, the deaths of your friends. I know what that's like. Now you need to go back there and find the proof, so you'll know the true nature of the man you're working for. You want me to go back to Viranaut. That's a tall order. But, okay. 
Well, I guess now we know what our next target is. And I guess we're sticking with this crew for a bit while... Yeah, a little while longer. It's not terrible. I mean, they're not bad people. It's just... Mm, I was kind of hoping to drop them off by now. But apparently that's not going to happen. Nope. So, we're going to go ahead and take a break here. After all, transit time between these systems is long. And when we come back next, we will beam down to what's left of our home. Well, my home. And Tobin's. He's from there, too. But the rest of the crew probably doesn't care. Either way, remember that if you want to be part of this crew, go ahead, leave a like, leave a comment. The day is coming when we're going to drop everyone off and pick up a new crew. So get in now to get in. And that being said, I guess I will see you next time for more Star Trek Online. Till then, take care.